fat face. Good morning, good evening, and good night. My name is Dalton Kaufman, if you did not already know that. Um, and today, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm driving, I'm in traffic, and you know, I just thought that I would do kind of like a stream of consciousness type thing while I drive. So maybe, you know what, maybe I'll talk about like Los Angeles. Hopefully I don't get like road rage during this. Get the out of my way! I, I think I have a good face and a good personality. Tinder does not think so, so much. Um, let's talk about that actually really quick for one second. Dating in Los Angeles. Not fun, not a good time, not okay. It's really hard and really, it's like a struggle. Like I've been out here since January and I get on Tinder, you know, and I'd be like swiping, swipeity swipe, 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 swipe or no swiping or whatever, door the Explorer, come at me. But like it's somehow I just don't get any matches. And recently I moved from Koreatown, Los Angeles to Santa Monica. And let me tell you, Santa Monica is way worse than the rest of Los Angeles because Every single person that lives in Santa Monica is extremely fit, extremely attractive, and extremely rich. Santa Monica is a very ritzy neighborhood, and like people there got money. I don't. Not everybody does, but they make it seem like they do. And I'm just over here like, Hey, I'm a sack of potatoes just trying to afford, you know, some Taco Bell or some chicken strips from Vaughn's, the grocery store. And like, it's tough out here for a sack of potatoes. Like, I'm telling you, it's really tough. Like, I don't get any matches whatsoever and I don't know why. Like, I'm cute. We, we went through my Tinder profile, you guys. I thought it was great. And one of my friends told me one time, we were talking, I was, cause of course I was complaining about it cause it's the only thing I complain about because I'm an idiot. And my friend told me, she was like, you know what? She's going through my Tinder, swiping for me and realizing, oh, he really doesn't get any matches. And she goes, you know what? I think you're just the type of person that like needs to meet someone in real life, like in person. And I was like, what does that mean? Are you calling me ugly? Second of all, you right, you right. You is right, girl. Because I mean, if you think about it, Tinder is very sketchy. Tinder, like matching with someone, yeah, you talk to them, and then you're like, hey, let's hang out. But it's like, I've never met you. I don't know anything about you. Everything you could be telling me could be a lie. And I'm just supposed to go and meet you and like hopefully not get murdered. Like that's pretty sketchy. And I don't think my mom likes the fact that I'm on Tinder. Cause like the other day I was talking to her on the phone and I was swiping on Tinder, of course, because that's all I do in my free time. And she goes, she starts telling me the story of some guy that she knows that met this person on Tinder, went to have a night with them, and ended up getting robbed. And so she's like, I don't think it's a very good idea. But you know what, mom? Listen, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to worry about it because I don't get any matches anyway. I don't get any dates. I don't get anything, you know, from it. So, mom, you have nothing to worry about. I'm a okay. And that's also the thing, like, I don't know how to like flirt really or or do anything like that. Like what I do, how I flirt usually goes like one of two ways. It's either very awkward and like uncomfortable and I'm like, hey, how are you? They're like, good, how are you? And I'm like, good. And like, I wanna keep talking to them cause I think they're cute, you know? And I'm like, hey, so yeah, like the weather outside, you know, it's really weathering out there. I like sunglasses. And they're like, what? What are you talking about? It's weathering out there? Like, that's, okay, cool, whatever. Like, yeah, it's the world. It, there's weather all the time. Or, second option, being possibly inebriated, inebri inebri why can't I say that word? Inebri intoxicated, and saying something like, hey, I think you are very attractive, and I would like to have lots of sexual intercourse with you. Would you like to do the same? If that's not awkward and uncomfortable, let me tell you, it is. And they'll just like walk away. And you know, bye, it was, nice, it was nice knowing you. It was cool, I'll see you never in the future. Or there's those sometimes on Tinder where it's like, 
you come across a profile, right? You like looking at, you swipe through their pictures. You're like, damn, you is cute. How is you doing? So you're like, okay, this person's cute. Let me, let me look at their profile, their bio, if they have their Instagram link so I can see more pictures, whatever. And so like, I'll go to their, their profile and like everything in their profile, which could be a lie. Let's not forget that. And everything in their profile is like, oh my gosh, like I would want to marry you right this second. Let's do it. I'm into it. You're like looking through their profile, right? You're like, dang, this is my actual soulmate. This is perfect. Let's go to Vegas right now. It's like three hours away. Let's go get married at Taco Bell. Like, let's do it. And so you're like, heck yeah, I'm gonna swipe right. It's gonna be a match. And then you swipe right. And nothing! Nothing happens! They don't swipe right back and it's not a match! And you just lost that person forever! You lost the love of your life and they're, it's just gone. It's a small figment of your imagination. And this actually happened to me recently, like yesterday. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. What could have been? Like, you should have swiped right. We could have, you know, hung out, had fun, got married, moved to Malibu Beach House with our two adorable freaking dogs, and you know, just lived out a great life. We could have got a yacht, preferably, because I'm, I'm a piece of crap. If you didn't already know that. And, but no, you didn't swipe right on me because you're a piece of crap. And now I'm upset because we could have had a great life and not anymore. That's enough for my like Tinder driving rant that I decided to randomly do. Um, but if you liked it, like this video, share this video with all your friends because you know it and I know it. I'm hilarious and the whole world should know it. But thank you for watching. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter if you want to know more about my piece of crap life and that's really it so do it if you want but thanks i suppose and that's it so until next time sexually frustrated single douche canoe is out